loud. Recording is starting now. Perfect. Hi, guys. Uh, how are you? Hi. Uh, <laughs> All going good. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the third episode of uh, Office Hours at Isota. Today I have with me uh, Prerit. Uh, Prerit leads uh, customer success efforts at Isota. Hi Prerit, good to have Hi. you here. Same here, Vivek, thank you. Awesome. And we also have with us today Divya, uh, who leads uh, CRM and retention efforts at Aizuto. Hi, Divya. How's Hi. it going? It's going good. <laughs> awesome. And obviously, we have the usual culprit, Pravya, Black Marketing. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> hey. Awesome. So, uh, so, in the past two episodes, we have spoken about uh, how COVID 19 has hit us, has hit us as a team, uh, as, uh, as an economy, as an industry. We spoke about how we are individually uh, trying to run the show, right? We spoke about what are we doing on a daily basis, right? And today I wanted to chat about uh, the business. Uh, <clears throat> uh, how do we get back to business as usual, right? Uh, and today's uh, office hour will be focused uh, uh, very, very specifically on uh, uh, <clears throat> on uh, on the audience opt-in experience, right? Uh, and more specifically, the the bomb that Chrome had dropped uh, earlier this year, right? I think this was January 8th. January 8th was yeah. when that blog post came out. Uh, and uh, uh, and Chrome basically announced to the world that, hey, uh, push notifications are slightly intrusive. So you know what, we're gonna, we are introducing a quite a permission UI, right? Now I'll be honest, when I read that blog post for the first time, I was scared, right? yeah. <laughs> and uh, I remember I walked up to uh, Srikanth and said, what's happening, right? And uh, he said, uh, let's figure it out, right? And that's when we decided to, to reach out to the Chrome team and say, uh, hey guys, what exactly are you trying to do here? And then uh, one thing led to another and we discovered uh, what, is a, what is the real meaning of quite a notification UI, right? By the way, till then, a bunch of a bunch of tech blogs had written the obituary of push notifications, which was very interesting. Right. Which is exactly what happens in the tech industry. People, people, really, pe people, and bloggers move really fast, right? Good and bad. But uh, yes, you know, here we are. Uh, we are talking about today. We are talking about uh, how do we make opt-ins? How, how do we make a really beautiful user-first opt-in experience, right? Something uh, that we have been something that we have been trying to talk about for the last three years, right? Uh, but yes, now, before we, you know, dive deeper into, uh, into Chrome, quite notifications, the, the, the changes, what it means to you, and so on, I want to ask the three of you specifically, right? You obviously browse a lot, and you've been browsing a lot of content over the last few days, right? Yeah. What's your favorites? What's, where have you experienced the best push notification opt-in experience so far? We'll go first with Divya, you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the, the one company that comes to my mind when, whenever I think of uh, a beautiful subscription experience is um, HubSpot. Mm -hmm. so because okay. day in and day out, we use it. Uh, of course, I mm -hmm. use it on a daily basis. So right. uh, they never drop the bomb on you when you land on their website, I mean, on their app. So it's mm -hmm. always, uh, once you start using the product, uh, once you start using their list, you export their list, uh, or uh, you use their chat conversation, then they ask you very subtly, uh, would you like to receive a notification yeah. for this? Uh, right. Would you like, huh, exactly. It's not when I'm on the, on the site, it's when I'm not on the site that I receive these notifications. Uh, of course. Yeah. yeah. It's a very pleasant. Awesome. So that's how smart for us. Uh, Prerit, uh, what do you think? Where have you have you experienced the best push notification experience? So I I uh, went to a weight loss website which is Healthy by Me. I record mm -hmm. that. So in that, you know, uh, uh, there 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 you, uh, so I have experienced it both. I would explain before and after, right? So before, I think when they were like a nascent stage uh, company, that time it was like bugging me like anything, and I had to actually remove it. But now, since they have got a good subscriber base, it's it's more like when you go to their website, when you are interested in some kind of a uh, consultation, 
that's when they say that you know hey since you uh, want to be a loyal customer why don't you subscribe to us why don't you be a part of our family right so that's that's something you know which has evolved over time and uh, definitely i love that uh, change from healthy five me awesome okay uh, pravya you're next what yeah. do you think uh if you actually see that there are a lot of websites out there who uh, you click on the website it loads and then the prompt is right on your face it's not yes. on your face and then you're like i don't know what the site is about to start with uh, that happens a lot uh, so uh, in, the, in the past few days right i was actually uh, going through midday and uh-huh. uh, i know for a fact that they have notifications right, right. Uh, but i was scrolling i was scrolling i was going through and then when i pa- i think when i scroll like half more than half of the page then they prompted me now i know what Beautiful. kind of content they write now i awesome. know if i should actually you know if i need notification from them so that's right. a brilliant experience uh, and awesome. uh, even network 18 for that fact right uh, they use a custom prompt as well right. so awesome. right i think that's that's beautiful because with custom prompt you can actually change the text you can actually tell them what like what can i expect if i click on allow got it so got i it. think that's, that's pretty much yeah. awesome all right guys today we have our first uh, uh, first customer joining in today for us uh, with us uh, for office hours hi rakesh can you hear us loud and clear hi rakesh hi you can unmute You're yourself unmute. Yeah. i'll unmute audio Hey Rakesh, hi. Can you hear us? Can you see us? Rakesh? Uh, I think he dropped off. dropped off. Yeah. Right. No worries. Yeah. So we'll just wait for him to circle back. But again, like yeah. Prabha, great points, uh, you know, great points mentioned. Right. No, even uh, I I just remembered. Uh I remember hmm. wish.com as well. Okay. Uh so if if they do not have the product and then it shows, you know, out of stock. Would you like to be mindful? I I know. Right, right, right. And that's beautiful, right? And they yeah. tell you, yeah. uh, we'll tell you, we'll notify you when it's back. Yeah. And you beautiful. have been shopping that's a lot. That's how you need to. Get it? Yeah. Yes. Right. I remember. Um, I remember Slack does it very neatly as well, right? Huh. So the first time you were subscribing to a Slack, uh, the first time you were getting onto a Slack. Um, uh, okay, Rakesh is back. right the first time you're getting onto slack uh, specific workspace right uh, slack will ask you very very nicely hey uh, to stay alert to to stay updated with conversations and threads subscribe to notifications right and once you click on no it will ask you again that hey do you do you uh, are you sure you do not want to stay updated right and if you oh, say okay. no again it will never ask you or never ask you right uh, like yeah. came and left but, nice. but that's fine also. Yeah, Just yeah. So, 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 yes. So, oh, some of the in-app experiences yeah. are really, really beautiful. Mm. Uh, designs very, designed very powerfully as well, mm. right? But uh, and uh, the, but, but again, if you go B to C side, right? Something what, some, something like what Pravya mentioned. Flipkart does a very good job as well. Flipkart asks for notification permissions only once a customer has placed the order, so that they can send them order status updates. which is a very interesting way of asking because uh, uh obviously uh you know the user is has already committed to the to the brand right the user is ready to sort of engage more with the brand right uh and it's a very timely prompt as well in fact but again right all said and done guys we have spoken about large businesses here right now right pray it spoke about healthy fire me and how the transition of healthy fire me happened right they were spoke about in app experiences of of like sub apps were and drift and slack right probably i spoke about wish.com and network it right all of these guys are uh, places where <clears throat> would see a great amount of traffic on their website would see a great volume of people coming to their website right? uh in case of uh, you know uh, in case of uh, you know smaller businesses exactly what we had said healthify me in its earlier days did commit you know did not optimize the user experience they were optimizing for maximum opt-ins right and this is exactly what chrome has uh, chrome has tried to fix with the quite notification ui right so let's just sort of you know dive in to to what exactly is quite a notification ui right uh 
the the objective is very simple to enhance the user experience with respect to push notifications right uh, the hypothesis was very simple uh, most of the websites that are currently using push notifications do not have not invested enough time and energy in creating the best experience around them which is why a lot of people end up blocking push notifications right and uh, to to substantiate this chrome released uh, the chrome ux report right which by the way is amazing right it's it's a very exhaustive report that details out how each and every single u single feature within chrome is being used by websites across the globe right uh, yeah so this essentially is what uh, in fact uh, i think i have a link here with me as well i'll drop the link uh, after the call is over uh, and we'll share it with 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 all our viewers as well because uh, uh, that less basically shows how some of the some of the uh, you know really smart uh, websites have created uh, have created an experience which leads to 90% plus opt-ins right which is insane come to think of it right so imagine having a 94% opt-in right you have you have worked with publishers right you have seen how at times people get really desperate right imagine you know something which you were cringy upon something which you would block right um, you know but 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 now some people have created experiences right which have 94% plus acceptance rate which is insane right but the question on uh, on quite a notification ui really is uh, is is very simple right so the yeah, why don't you sort of talk to us about, a, a bit more about what do you one personally think of that approach right yeah. and uh, what's your take on uh, what do you think is the most important factor right while creating the best experience for push notifications opt-in so uh, of course to answer your question uh, the first one was what's my take so i think it's it's uh, a very good thing that they did it i mean earlier everyone used to get those uh, prompts now those set of users are not getting those uh, prompts so uh, i would say the subscription uh, percentage has gone up yeah for those users of course the second one i would think uh, what they should keep in mind to create that experience would be of course uh, so if i compare this to in app uh, subscription yeah so in app subscription are very uh, thoughtful i would say thoughtful is the word i would use here yeah it's thoughtful in a sense that uh, they actually see the user journey how someone is uh, coming on the site what they're doing what they're thinking and it's safe right. that yeah so websites could also use something like that they, they have insights uh, they have google analytics uh, they have heat maps they have various ways to see that uh, what their user does when they come on the site they can actually use it uh, yeah yeah okay interesting point right so uh, leveraging your existing user behavior yeah. right to to figure out what's the best moment to in, to to ask the user for permission mm -hmm. right obviously in case of in app it's very intuitive because the user is already in your environment mm -hmm. uh, you can ask him for a bunch of things you know including from including for support chat uh, export import data inviting users all sort of stuff right okay valid point right but yeah coming back to you right you mentioned about uh, how uh, it was midday right how midday had delayed the prompt and that led you to commit right what do you think was a the trigger there what do you think exactly happened there can you just break it down for us <clears throat> but i think you're on mute we're not able to hear you i'm okay. good now Yeah. yeah okay okay so uh the trick here being uh not prompting when someone lands on a website period right so what happened here was i started scrolling i started mm -hmm. reading i do not want an interruption when i'm reading basic okay, right. basic right and then i come to the next story i read the next story i scroll down and then they prompt me so i mm -hmm. i believe the timing is important Mm -hmm. scrolling also means that someone is reading and then they come to the next fold right correct uh, yeah. so according to me the timing is very important and then the context of it right 
uh, if I am being, I am reading and let's say a sports news. Sure. And then there's a custom prompt that comes up and then it says every time there's something new on the sports side, you get a notification. Brilliant. I don't want to see probably, I don't want news on Sensex. I want to read about sports. So give me mm. something about sports and not about Sensex. You know, amazing thing, right? I, I remember NDTV does that very well. Uh, I've seen uh, NDTV asking uh, for permission for notifications on their IPL pages. Right? Okay. And they, uh, and they let you choose which team do you really want to follow. Because honestly speaking, wow. if, I'm, yeah. if I'm an IPL fan, right, I, I do not want to know about the teams that I hate. I want to follow the teams that I love. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They actually and did this like uh, three, four, four years ago. Four years like, back, yeah, right? Back Which is actually then. very, very wow. smart of them, right? Mm -hmm. But yes, you know, Pravya, you know, it is amazing, right? How your advice is insanely simple, and which, 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 by yeah. the way, automatically makes it powerful. Get least followed, yeah. right? <laughs> like, just like most advices in life, right? Which are <laughs> generally very simple, very easy to understand. Uh, very, very practical, very real, clear impact, clear visibility, clear uh, proof, right? But people yet don't follow that. For instance, uh, eat healthy so that you don't screw up your health. It's a very simple piece of advice. Right. People don't follow that. For example, don't smoke. Smoking causes cancer, you know, oh, cancer okay, right? Yeah. Avoid smoking, right? But again, we won't go down that road now. This is, <laughs> that's a slippery road there, right? So then, right. Coming back to you right you spoke about your healthy pie experience right what do you think was different in the first time and the second time the first time probably obviously captured that that uh they got you the moment you landed on the website right but the second time what do you think was the trigger so i uh, you know initially when uh, when when i went to their website it was like long time back and mm -hmm. i think that as i mentioned it was a nascent uh, stage company <coughs> Right. They, they were like bugging me at every visit. If I'm not uh, being, um, you know, I'm not subscribing, they'll bug mm -hmm. me whenever I visit them so that they, they earn me, right? Yeah. That's not, not how you earn a subscriber. True. They learn from this experience. I think that's where optimization came into picture that you need to optimize how you, uh, you know, let your users see the prompt. And mm -hmm. that's where, you know, they learned from the previous experience that they had a lot of uh, drop-offs, I would say, or, you know, people denying that because they were getting it again and again, right? So instead of right. that, you know, again and again to each and every person who is visiting your website or, or, or on mobile, you should actually show it to those people once. And if they're interested, they'll definitely come in, right? And that's true. One time should be defined basis where you feel that the customer will be loyal. Yeah. Right. And you know, that's, that's what changed the, you know, perception, which I had for healthy by me that, you know, now they have evolved as a business. They have learned from the mistakes they did. And now I think, you know, likewise, I would say every business should, should learn from these experiences. Amazing. Right. Uh, it's very, yeah, it's, 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 it's so, you know, simple, right? All three of you have touched upon a very, very simple concept, right? Focus on the user experience. Don't mess it up, right? Then I spoke about having the user committed and then asking the right question. Probably I spoke about how the user is committed. The user is committed once they have spent some time on the website. The user is committed once they have scrolled through, right? Fred spoke about the exact same thing, that how that really is the most important thing. And as everything is... Uh, semantics in fact Preet, you you mentioned a very beautiful point right that how asking you again and again and again and again the chance of losing you is far higher as compared to chance of gaining you i remember a webinar which we did few months back uh, uh, we spoke about this that the average prompts to block is 1.7 the average prompts to allow is 1.3 right so your likelihood of getting blocked is way higher when you ask the, ask the user to subscribe for the second time right which is why you know come to think of it the way the in-app experiences are designed uh, both for slack and drift and hubspot they would ask they would actually do a two-step or three-step prompt yeah 
right? They would not show up the holy grail of the yeah. browser, <laughs> right? Straight up, they would keep it. Yeah. They, they would keep it, you know, intact. That's for some another golden right. chance. Yeah. <laughs> right, because they were like, "Are you really sure? Are yeah. you double double sure?" And <laughs> then they would actually sort of show you the main prompt, right? right? Which is, by the way, exactly what happens. Let's say with Google Keep or with Google News, right? That's why their opt-in rates are ninety-four percent, right? The 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 thumb rule being, not everyone gets to see it very clearly, right? Those who get to see it are shown it in a very succinct manner with a lot of context being captured. Like we probably have spoke, uh, if it's sports, keep it sports contextual. If it's, uh, either with Divya mentioned, if it's uh, at a specific user action, keep it action contextual, right? This is exactly what sort of ensures that you are able to create as a webmaster and as a marketer, you're able to create the best experience for your users, right? Now, this does this will obviously impact the growth of the audience, but you would never, you know, you do not want to fall into uh, the list of websites that would get impacted by Chrome 80 update, right? Which is the quite a permission you are because that basically strips away the power, the ability for, for you to ask notifications. Because guess what? Chrome push notification, Chrome uh, quite, a, quite a notification UI is optimizing notifications for two things now. Number one, if you have a high block rate, you would, your website would automatically be never allowed to show notification prompt directly, right? And number two, if your website has a high allow rate, sorry, has a low allow rate, even in that case also, you'll be treated in the same way. And great, I was looking at data of some of the uh, websites in the uh, Chrome UX report, right? There are websites which have more than 90% block rate, which is insane, right? 90% of people do not want to hail back from you ever again, right? Clearly, that's a misuse, right? It's a, it's a wrong power in the wrong hands, right? And there's no reason why browsers should not be uh, optimizing for that. Awesome, right? Okay, guys, thank you so much for being a patient listener and contributing to this chat, right? Uh, any parting words, Divya, uh, Pradit, and uh, Pravya, from your side to marketeers and developers, uh, uh, and specifically, you know, COVID hit marketeers, right? Pradit, let's go with you. Um, you know, firstly, Vivek, I was just thinking about, you know, how uh, has if I moved this my perception, right? Mm -hmm. so, as a business, uh, I think you should learn from your experience. <coughs> you know, a, a user perceives you in the first visit itself. Although right. it takes time for him to build that relationship. But, you know, if you continue bugging that user, he'll not yeah. come. So, yes. you know, the thought process would be that if you're showing so many subscription prompts to me, You'll bug my phone with notifications also, right? Yeah. So that's where you know you need to be careful and you need to learn that if you are showing the subscription prompt at the right time to the right. Yeah. Time, that's where you are going to earn the answer. Perfect. Awesome. Divya, what's your parting advice? My parting advice would be: so marketers are generally intelligent people. I mean, right. that's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> We just need to be reminded that uh, it's your user, it's it's uh, your user base, your audience. So yeah, you need to be contextual. I mean, stay contextual, stay safe. Yeah. <laughs> right. Awesome. Pravya, what's uh, what do you have for us? Okay, you're on mute again. Sorry. No, you're mute. mute, mute. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, during these times, right, we are. Uh, we are in challenging times right now. So I personally believe that uh, a lot of people are actually visiting publishing, visiting news websites, yeah. reading blogs and all that. So uh, while it's a beautiful opportunity to build an audience, marketers do need to realize that this is an opportunity that they should not let go of, which yeah. also means that they cannot screw it <clears throat> up, right? Yes. Uh, uh, so, Ask only when you need to ask them. Be clear, be specific of when they would actually receive a notification and yeah. uh, time it well. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for that, Pravya. Right. Uh, from my side, I, w I don't have an, uh, 
I think these guys have covered pretty much everything, right? But I do have one interesting thing for you, right? I have a COVID fact of the day, right? Oh. The COVID fact of the day is not about the number of cases or number of deaths, right? But that's something you, which you can get on the internet. The COVID fact of the day is as following, right? And this is just between, the, between you and us, right? <laughs> the CTRs on notifications have gone up by almost 30 to 40 percent depending upon who you are and what you are selling ask me why the reason is because people are all over the world are home my hypothesis is is that because people are home they're clicking more and more and more and more and more on stuff people need to to be occupied right? right this do not take inspiration from this Please, this is not a moment to get inspired from, right? You might see a spike in your notification uh, campaign clicks. You might see, uh, in fact, you would also see a, a spike in your email open rates, right? No matter how horrible that subject line was, right? But please understand, this is all momentary. We all want this to pass, right? Okay. Which means this, this too shall pass. Just like COVID, the high CTR will pass. All right, guys, that's, uh, that's us, uh, us signing off uh, for today. Thank you so much for joining us and listening us, right? We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Bye. Thank Bye. you so much. Take care. Bye.